Doing a generator test today of my two Honda EU 2000 generators. Just a monthly test and I figured I'd bring the carbon monoxide tester out. I have them out in the breezeway here and I just wanna see if there's any carbon monoxide. It has a bit of a smell. So I figured I'd test it, so we'll come outside. So this is the breezeway, there's the generators. So we're sitting at zero. Now, kinda had a feeling there was. This is interesting, this is actually a pretty good test. So I have these outside, right? But the wind must be coming this way, you know, from the generators to where I'm standing. Because I was definitely able to smell exhaust. And I was like, hmm, yeah, let's just take a test and see what this is. So what I'll do is I'll move it up closer to the generators, just so you can get an idea of how high it is right at the generators. But this is kind of why they tell you to keep the generators away from windows and doors. Um, now, obviously, my, my garage is over here. It's a separate garage from the house. But nonetheless, you know, uh, there's a door right here that, depending on how well your house is insulated, it could be drawing air from the outside in, especially as, like, a furnace or something comes on. And, uh, you know, it's helping get in your house. People don't even realize it. So, so here we are sitting at 15. I hope you can see that 14, 15. And like I said, 17. I'm just out here in the breezeway. <laughs> you can see the generators. You know, here's the other side of the house. So you can see I'm in the open, not in an enclosed area, and there is a decent breeze. I don't know if you can see the trees up there moving or not. Maybe I'll move a little closer. But uh, you can see branches moving. It's a breezy day out. So if you also saw as like a closer to, uh, I guess the outside air, if you will, it went down. Now I'm gonna just gonna walk backwards to where I was. about exactly where I was and you know it's possible that a breeze pushed through and cleared it out I don't smell it right now like the exhaust I can't smell carbon monoxide but I can smell the exhaust I don't smell it right now but I smelled it before and that's why I wanted to get out the carbon monoxide tester just to see what was going on and if you saw there how it got to 0 0.17, I'm sorry, uh, 17. And if there was no breeze, I can only imagine that getting a little higher. So again, I think all the more reason this illustrates when you have a generator, put a chain around it and move it away from your house, you know? Uh, I'm gonna bring these over, so I just wanna give you guys an example of what it's like right at the generator. So.
crazy, huh? Silent killer for a reason, right? So I'm coming back in the breezeway. It's very windy out right now. I assume it's going to go down back to where it was. This has to take a bit of time here to clear. Very, very interesting. Again, it's just a quick video of the dangers of carbon monoxide. So, you know, I've heard stories of some people putting the generators in their house and, uh, you know, very, very unfortunate circumstances happen when that's uh, done. And it usually results in death. Uh, you hear about it on the news a few times a year. And even some people put it in their attached garage, which, you know, these gases just can travel anywhere. It really depends on... Depends on your situation, but so you can see uh, 13, 14, and again, suspect to get down a little more. It's a little breezy, but I'm guessing I'm probably 20 feet, 25 feet away from the generator right now. But just it's interesting. It depends on how the wind blows. I can feel a breeze, but it's also like I can also smell the exhaust again right here. So somehow, you know, the exhaust is getting trapped. And it very well just could be, you know, if you look at that side of the house, and then I also got one right here, you know, it's not fully letting all the air out. And again, I'll go up higher just to see if the level is any better there and I'll go down low as well so I don't even know how well you're gonna hear this video because those generators are running but so 16 and just out of curiosity I'm gonna go down towards the ground interesting huh Again, there's a couple factors going on here. The wind blowing, there's probably more ventilation down at the bottom. Notice it's 10 parts, nine parts, eight parts, seven, probably gonna shut off down here. Once it goes to five, then next step is zero. So at the bottom, it's zero, and it might have something to do with the ventilation. You know, the bottom of the gate there, there's a lot of wind, and there's a lot of breeze there. Now, to bring it back up so now I'm at the ceiling so you can't just say there's less lower more higher because of the situation here with the wind blowing in and out now if there was a, if it wasn't the windy day there might be a better test to see if lower is better than up higher but anyway, just a quick video on the dangers of running your generator in carbon monoxide.